I love sewing stripy tops, but how do you get the stripes to match up at the seams? This can be a particular challenge if you're working with stretchy knit fabric such as jersey, which likes to move around when you cut and sew it. In this video, I'll show you how I get the stripes to match when I sew things like the Agnes top, Billy sweatshirt or Romy dress. Draw a horizontal line around the centre of the bodice pattern pieces at right angles to the grey line arrow or centre line. The pattern I'm using has a horizontal length and or shorten line already, so I'm going to use this. You're more likely to get the stripes matching up if you cut the pattern out on a single layer of fabric rather than on the fold, particularly if you're using stretchy jersey. Place the front bodice pattern on the fabric and line up the top or bottom corner of the side seam with either the top or bottom of a stripe. Pivot the pattern so the horizontal line you added or the length and shorten line is exactly parallel to the stripes and make sure it's the same stripe on each side. Pin the pattern in place. Mark the centre front line on the fabric, label place, place on fold on the pattern, by inserting pins exactly along it. Cut one side of the bodice pattern. Remember not to cut the centre front line. Remove the pattern piece, then flip the cut fabric piece over along this centre line, checking the pins are exactly along the fold. Smooth it out, lining up the stripes with the stripes on the fabric below. Secure in place with pins. Now you can use the first half of the bodice as a template for cutting the second half. This will ensure the stripes are parallel all the way across. So that's the front bodice cut out. Let's move on to the back bodice and I'll show you how to ensure the stripes match up at the side seams. Lay the back bodice on the fabric, lining up the top or bottom corner so it's in the same position in relation to the stripes as you cut the front bodice. So if you lined up the bottom corner with the bottom of a stripe, do the same on the back bodice. Pivot the pattern piece so the horizontal line you drew or the length and shorten line is parallel to the stripes. Pin in place, mark the centre back line with pins and cut the back bodice the same way you cut the front bodice. Now it's usually impossible to get all the stripes on a sleeve head to match the armhole, but what you can do if you're feeling fancy is try to align the most prominent stripe, so around halfway down the front armhole where the armhole notches. On the front bodice piece that you cut out, measure 15 millimeters or 5 eighths of an inch in from the armhole notch at a right angle to the raw edge. This is where the stitching line will be. Make a note of where this point falls in relation to a stripe, i.e. does it fall at the top, bottom or middle of a stripe or in between stripes. On the sleeve pattern, mark a point 15 millimeters or 5 eighths of an inch in from the front armhole notch, again at a right angle to the edge. Line up the marking so it's in the same position in relation to a stripe as the point on the front bodice armhole fabric piece. Align the length and shorten line and top corners of the underarms parallel to the stripes. Cut out your sleeve, then flip the pattern face down to cut the second piece, lining up the marking the same way. When you pin the bodice side seams or sleeve underarm seams, insert the pins along the top or bottom of each stripe or every few stripes depending on how far apart they are. The pins should cross the stitching line, i.e. 15 millimeters or 5 eighths of an inch in from the raw edge. Check the pins are coming out in the same position in relation to the stripe on both layers of fabric. Tack or baste the seams. Open out the layers and check the stripes are matching. If any of them aren't aligned as neatly as you'd like, you can unpick a bit of tacking and try again before sewing the seams for real. You should now have beautifully matching stripes and hey, if you don't, the sewing police aren't going to come knocking, so smile and get on with your life. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more sewing tips and inspiration. Happy sewing!